there. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, there there are some people that should be afraid of me, um, and that they are, because I I represent uh, moderation and diversity, and I'm gonna come for hurtful, harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm gonna stand up against you. Period. Mid-tech censorship has gotten out of control. Live streaming platform Twitch has hired its first ever animal, yes, a transgender woman who identifies now as a deer in order to moderate and censor any ideas that they find to be intolerant. Welcome back to The Daily Dose on Slightly Offensive with your favorite host, me, Elijah Schaefer. Before we jump into this story, please check that you are subscribed by clicking that button below and then turn on the bell. It is incredible that no matter what you do, you might not get our reports, but check in every single day. And if you wanna make sure you watch all of our videos and get everything that we produce every single day, go ahead and sign up right now at blazetv.com slash slightly offensive. Use my code in the description, get 10 bucks off. That way you never miss a single story or event, including our street videos. Anyway, uh, the story today it originally comes from Summit News. Uh, and we're gonna get into this also with some stuff from Tim Pool, as well as uh, the Daily Beast checking in on this uh, as Trump kind of weighed in on this as well. So the, the article's titled, I Have Power. Trans Twitch moderator who identifies as a deer threatens to censor critics. So whatever this thing is here, uh, whether you're asking me, is it a he, is it a she, is it a them, is it a the? Uh, no, it's a deer. And this is 2020, guys, where we have uh, pandemics that kill less people than uh, car accidents that shut down the entire globe. And we, all, we also have uh, people identifying as deers censoring you, because why not? Well, the article says that a transgender Twitch safety advisory council, right? Censorship always has these great names. It's never called censorship or taking away your rights or blocking free speech. It's always safety advisory council member who identifies as a deer. Yes, really bragged on a live stream about having the power to censor critics, asserting some people should be afraid of me. Okay, so basically Twitch, uh, which has a higher censorship rate, I would say even than YouTube, they fare worse, um, has built this council of people to target those that they consider to be intolerant. Now, um, this deer, uh, this is their thoughts basically on, on the matter. This is what they think about people that game. Oh, no, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that, I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry, just a fact of how I feel. Yeah, well, that's not a paradox. It's a fact of how I feel. I don't even know where we come up with those ideas. How do you have a fact of what you feel? You either feel something or it's a fact, but you don't feel facts. Unless you're talking about gravity, then you feel that fact really badly. Anyway, Twitch is a live streaming video platform, as said, that has become notorious for its draconian levels of censorship. Last week, transgender streamer Steph Lohr, or however you say it, AKA Ferociously Steph, who was born a man and apparently had his genitals removed, has announced <clears throat> as a new member of Twitch's Safety Advisory Council, giving Lohr the power to influence terms of service and potentially ban individual users. But before we get to Steph's comments on this, let's, uh, let us get to know Z a little better. So apparently Z is, <laughs> Z is a pronoun now. I don't know what you identify as. Maybe you identify as a can of water today, maybe a deer tomorrow. But hey, I like where we're going with this because at least mental illness has a name and that name is apparently Steph Lore. Well, Hair Lore explains how uh, he, Z, Jim Zer likes to prance around in his backyard acting like a deer while munching on grass. Guys, this is not a joke video. Check this out. Um, so in my, in my spare time, I go out to my yard. In my spare time, I go out to my yard and I, and I prance around and I, and I eat grass. And I, and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. Mm -hmm. So I do my best. I do my best to be. Okay, first of all, if there's a time to use the F word with what the before it, this would be the time, even if you're a Christian. It's, it, it's come to the point now where like, I don't get it. I, I you know, I don't get it. 
I don't get it. You know, first vegans want you to eat your leaves only on your plate. Then they're going to start telling you to eat food outside. No, I'm just kidding. We have good vegans out there. This is next level. This is animalism. It's very weird too, because so this person identifies as a deer. They, they go outside. Um, and I want you to get a, a, a hold before we jump into any more meat of how ridiculous this person is um, and talk about the power trip where they boast about being able to take people out on the advisory council. This is a thing called a deergasm, which is where you get your head rubbed and um, you make weird noises. And I, I really am sorry for showing you guys. I apologize. It's like, I'm sorry. But just check this one out. This is last one and then we'll get into the meat. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I cannot handle that any anymore. So, uh, uh, so this this person um, gets deergasms through head rubs. They eat grass and they cut off their genitals, which apparently is the perfect trifecta to be somebody who's balanced enough to be able to understand what's considered uh, intolerant and not. Essentially, we're finding out that the people that are being hired to censor are actually the people themselves that need the most help. They assume that everybody that's on the web is automatically a white supremacist. And uh, in the meantime, they're also going to uh, munch on some grass. But beware. This is where it gets kind of crazy. There's, there's them there. Um, they, this person goes on this rant explaining that they have a lot of power and they're drunk on it. And that's what censors love. They love that power trip. Watch this clip and check out uh, really what this person or whatever they are, this deer thinks. They're not happy. They're not like, yeah, I'm really trying to make the internet a safer place. This is what liberals and the far left really want. So I'm hanging in there and uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me um, and that they are because I, I represent uh, moderation and diversity and I'm going to come for hurtful, harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm going to stand up against you, period. And uh, I'm, Twitch is endorsing me to do that, so. Okay. Well, first of all, what's up with the creepy music? And then on top of that, the smile, it look, it, this, if there's a demon, if demons are real, which I believe they are, this is a demon. Um, this is so creepy, right? It's like, I have the power. I can take you out. I can do what I want. And that's what the tech companies really love. They love giving the power to people who love that power and enjoy abusing it. But you know what? When you talk about this, uh, Tim Poole, we won't get into this too much, but Tim Poole uh, made a video about censorship and uh, ironically was a band. It says here, I did a video about people defying the lockdown and flooding beaches and the video doesn't show up on my channel. I even said in the video, YouTube would likely ban it. First photo is what I see. Second is what other people see and they shadow banned my video. So you'll see here that there is this video, thousands flood beaches here, um, right here. It, it's in the corner. And then you move over and this video is now uh, not there. So... If you talk about censorship, you get censored, which is the craziest part is there's no debate on this anymore. The only debate that maybe there is perhaps is just whatever the master debate this person is doing out in the field while they munch on grass. But you know, this happened recently with Trump. Now Trump, uh, in this article from the Daily Beast, some of you have asked why I use liberal articles. I use articles that are considered fringe right, fringe left, center. I use all types of articles because it allows there to be a balance and allows you to think for yourself. Uh, take whatever you want to think about whatever article we bring up. But Daily Beast brought this up. You know, Trump retweeted a video of Michelle Malkin that was from an account called AF Clips that was associated apparently with uh, Nick Fuentes and his crew. People have really strong opinions about that guy. Uh, some people think he's the worst guy in the world. Other people think he's going to save the country. You decide for yourself. Do your own research. But uh, that's not what this is about. Trump retweets a video of Michelle Malkin, who is not Nick Fuentes. Uh, she's a, a commentator that a lot of right-wing people have shunned um, in the past because of her association with this group. But he basically retweeted a video of her, and he wrote this. The radical left is in total command and control of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google. The administration is working to remedy this legal illegal 
legal situation. Stay tuned and send names and events. Thank you, Michelle. Now, the most degenerate, uh, self-loathing, probably gay porn addicted individual. I'm not even joking. A lot of these guys have problems. Uh, Jared Holt said the president has retweeted a clip account associated with white nationalist and anti-Semitic podcaster Nicholas Fuentes. The clip is of Michelle Malkin, who has suffered professional fallout for her defense of a young Holocaust denier. Um, okay, I don't know. I'm, I haven't researched this enough. Maybe you have, and he, maybe he's right. Maybe he's wrong. Who knows? But the ironic part about this is not even about what this is about, is that Michelle Malkin, this video, he's talking about censorship, and Twitter takes it down. Twitter took down a tweet of the President of the United States talking about censorship because there was somebody involved in this that people don't like. Now, I don't really care about what people think about Michelle or Trump or this kid Nick or whatever. The point being is that there's a tweet about censorship that gets censored. And, you know, what, what I want to bring up here is like, no matter how much you don't like certain people, there's nobody that I could think of a worse candidate to be on the internet than a deer. First of all, what the hell is a deer doing online? How do they type? Good question. But not only that, deers can't even seem to get out of the way of a car with its headlights on in the fog. Seriously, what do you think that they're going to somehow be smart enough to, to pick the right people out to censor? No, what you're finding here is that those who are given the power to censor are just far left radicals. People like Jared Holt and Media Matters and Right Wing Watch, people like Xi Zimzer, Zimzauzi, whatever the name is, Xi Jinping maybe, this new deer, uh, are given the power to discredit people. And, and I, and I want to end with this. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want to be fair to, to just talk about the arguments, but just say, guys... If you're going to stand against white supremacy and you're going to stand against people who you think are Holocaust deniers and whatever you say, fine, go ahead and do that. But while at the same time giving the power into the hands of somebody who clearly needs help, and I'm not talking about Joe Biden, I'm talking about this deer, you have an inconsistent double standard. I don't mind you being strong, opinionated, and, and, and hold power against somebody who you know you believe to be a bad person. But hypocritically at the same time allowing the system to lift up and give a voice to people who need help as well, then you're not going to be taken seriously and we don't believe your opinion. But maybe you have different thoughts. Let me know in the description. As always, please support us by subscribing and clicking below as well as turning on that bell so you get our notifications every single day uh, as well as making sure you always support us by going to blazetv.com slash slightly offensive. Feel free to follow me uh, anywhere, Instagram, Twitter. You can find it links below. Anyway, have a great rest of the day. As always, my name is Elijah Schaefer, the host of Daily Dose here on Slightly Offensive. Have a great rest of the week. May God bless the United States of America. I am signing out. Yeah.